My name is Ebenezer Amwako Entry, and you are so welcome to this YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, you are going to get videos that will set you up in your work with God and also with your prayer life. On this channel, you upload videos consistently to make sure that believers are guided to pray and pray and pray. If you are new to this YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that when we upload new videos, you can have access to them. And also, if you don't understand anything, kindly send us a message and we will get back to you. Also, make sure that this video you are about to watch, you will like the video, try and comment on it. And when you are blessed by the video, make sure that you share it to someone. Thank you. That you focus on it. Listen, this is why we must understand this. To have a part among the saints in the inheritance of God does not come by a man promising you that God will do something. Let me tell you this sincere truth from the depth of my heart. No man can force the hand of God to do anything for another man. It doesn't work. It has never worked. Even his own son came on earth and could not force the hand of God to do anything. He said, as I see my father do, I do also. That means that there is nothing I have done that it is not the father who has done it. Kalabasanda. Listen, listen to me and listen to me well. The son of God comes in and he said, the father loves me. In John chapter 5, the father loves me and he shows me everything that whatsoever he doeth. And whatsoever I see my father do, I do also. No wonder he spent 33 years on earth. And he entered the beautiful gate several times. But never healed the crippled man on the beautiful gate. Because he never saw his father do it. If he tries it, he will fail. That means that Jesus at no point ever did something that the father has not originally purposed to do. And today... If a man keeps telling you that I can make God do I can make God do this for you. What a beautiful lie. What a man can do is to teach you until you are aligned with the purposes and the will of God. That God will have no option than to do whatever he has planned for you. No wonder Jesus said, anytime you pray, pray that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Nothing must happen on earth if it has never happened in heaven. No man can force the hand of God. That is why people are turning into atheism. Because they have stayed in church and they have been promised that this will happen for you. God will do this for you. And they have never been taught to have fellowship with God until they have been aligned for God to do whatever he wants to do. Hey, may the spirit of the teaching of the truth invade the body of Christ one more time. Am I talking to a church at all? In Isaiah chapter 50 verse 4, he said that he given me the tongue of a learned and morning by morning he waked me up and he opened up my ears and he speaketh unto me and he was talking about Jesus. So every time Jesus will rise up and go out there, there is a voice that has spoken to him. He has seen something early in the morning and the Bible said early in the morning Jesus will rise and pray. He has seen something, he has heard something and even the parables he was preaching, it was Isaiah that prophesied that early in the morning God puts it into him. So he did not even come to preach what he wanted. He came to preach what the father wanted him to do. Why is it important that people will be taught? Regardless of all kinds of excitement and entertainment everywhere. No man can own up to the power of God. Sometimes I pity my sons and daughters. Whom I really desire that God will lift them. But yet I see them kick like football everywhere that is preached every Sunday do their own thing yet confessing that because my father Pastor Elvis is anointed I come to Grace Mountain the altar of Grace Mountain will speak for me the altar of Grace Mountain knows God more than you whatever spirit that rests here is the spirit of God and the Bible says that he will not do anything that he has not heard from the father life could have been easy if people know how to fix themselves into the will of God and into his alignment. This is why I cry out every time that church, we can be very blessed if we know who God is. That God will never do anything outside 
his will. So until a man knows the will of God, such a man will be disappointed working with God. That is why anytime you come to church and you are here, please, you must go back with something about who your God is. We serve a very deep God who will never compromise on his principles for anything. On the other day, Jesus said something very funny, but it's not funny. He said that there were many lepers in Israel, but God chose to heal only Naaman. And what can you do about it? Nothing. Elisha could not do anything about it. God decided to heal only Naaman. That's it. On the other day, Jesus said, the poor will forever be with you. That means that there are some anointed people, people who call on the name of the Lord, but still be poor. And who can question God? So the best anyone can do to you and for you is not to leave God just like that to do what he wants to do. But for people to teach you the ways and the principles and the will of God until you begin to align yourself to it. And as you align yourself to it, then the manifested promises of God or the promises of God that he has attached to that will and that principles begin to show up in your life. It is high time Christians rise up and tell their pastors, teach me the word. I want to know my God. Do I have a church here? They that know their God shall be strong, shall do as well. Teach me. I hope you enjoyed this video and I believe that you were blessed. If um, you were blessed by this video, make sure that you click on the share button and share it to a friend. And also make sure that you like the video so that YouTube can recommend this video to other people so that they can also be blessed by the message. If you have any question, please make sure that you contact us and we'll get back to you. And also if you are watching this video and you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, I want you to make that decision. Just contact us in the description. Call us and let us lead you to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. And lastly, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the, that notification bell icon. Turn it on so that when new videos are uploaded, you can be notified. Thank you so much and see you in our next video and prayer section. Bye.